Why girls are maturing sooner. Changes in the reproductive cycle are having significant implications for the health of females worldwide. Over the past century, the age of puberty onset has been declining, with some girls now showing signs as early as age six or seven. This shift poses both physical and psychological challenges for young girls globally, experts warn. Research from a meta-analysis of 30 studies reveals that the average age of puberty onset in girls has decreased by three months per decade from 1977 to 2013, amounting to more than a year earlier overall. Initially, breast development marks the beginning of puberty, while menstruation typically follows later. Recent findings published in the May 2024 issue of JAMA Network Open highlight a concerning trend. Among a large cohort of females born in the US from 1950 to 2005, girls are experiencing their first periods at younger ages and facing delays in establishing regular menstrual cycles. The study shows a significant rise over 55 years, with nearly double the number experiencing early menarche before age 11, now affecting 16% of the population. This trend is well documented and spans across the globe explains Lisa Swartz-Topor, Associate Professor of Pediatrics at the Warren Alpert Medical School of Brown University. The reasons behind these changes remain complex and multifaceted, reflecting broader shifts in societal and environmental factors over the past two centuries. Puberty onset, regulated by the hypothalamus in the brain, initiates with the secretion of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GNRH, this hormone stimulates the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone, which in turn trigger the ovaries to produce estrogen and progesterone. These hormonal changes drive breast development, the onset of menstruation, and other physical transformations. Aside from potential long-term health effects, early puberty can lead to social and emotional challenges. Children may start to resemble teenagers earlier than expected, notes Natasha Chaku, psychologist and assistant professor at Indiana University. This early development may prompt parents to have discussions about bodily changes sooner than anticipated. What's causing the early timetable? The reasons behind the early onset of puberty are multifaceted, according to experts. One significant factor is the rise in childhood obesity since the 1970s, which has been linked to early puberty, also known as precocious puberty in girls. Recent research highlights that body fat is more than just inert tissue. It acts as an endocrine organ, releasing hormones like insulin, insulin-like growth factor one, and leptin into the bloodstream. These hormones can influence appetite, fat accumulation, and importantly, the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, which regulates puberty timing. Obesity is associated with higher levels of hormones, such as estradiol, a form of estrogen, explains Aviva Sofa, associate professor of pediatrics at Columbia University Irving Medical Center. Elevated estrogen levels can trigger early breast development and onset of puberty in girls with obesity compared to those with a normal weight. Diet quality also plays a crucial role. Diets low in fruits and vegetables but high in animal protein and processed foods have been linked to elevated sex steroid levels like estrogen. Studies, including one from China comparing different dietary patterns, suggest that diets heavy in snacks, fried foods and sugary drinks may contribute to precocious puberty. Moreover, stress, especially early life adversity linked to socioeconomic challenges or abuse, is another contributing factor. Research published in Psychoneuroendocrinology indicates that high stress levels during childhood can increase the risk of early puberty in girls. Stress influences the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, which also regulates puberty onset. The timing of puberty can be sensitive to stress, notes Jane Mendel, clinical psychologist and associate professor at Cornell University. Children with stressful early life experiences are more likely to experience early puberty, possibly due to the impact of stress on hormonal regulation. Interestingly, studies during the COVID-19 pandemic suggest that factors like increased screen time, social isolation, and changes in diet and physical activity 
may have contributed to a recent uptick in precocious puberty cases among girls in certain areas. These factors collectively contribute to an overproduction of sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone, influencing the onset of puberty without directly affecting brain development. Chemicals that disrupt the endocrine system. In addition to factors like obesity and stress, emerging research points to the role of endocrine-disrupting chemicals, EDCs, in influencing early puberty among girls. These chemicals, such as phthalates and bisphenols, are commonly found in everyday items and can mimic the effects of natural hormones like estrogen. Many of these EDCs have similar actions to estrogens, explains Aviva Sofa, Associate Professor of Pediatrics at Columbia University Irving Medical Center. Prolonged exposure to these chemicals can disrupt the body's hormonal balance, potentially affecting reproductive development. For instance, studies published in BMC Medicine and Environmental Health Perspectives have linked precocious puberty in girls to exposure to chemicals like perfluorinated compounds found in household products, electronics, and food packaging. Furthermore, research suggests that higher exposure to particulate matter in air pollution during pregnancy and childhood may also accelerate the onset of puberty. According to Frank Biro, professor of pediatrics at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, these various environmental influences likely work together to influence puberty timing in young girls. Possible consequences. The shift towards earlier puberty onset can have profound physical and emotional impacts on girls as they grow older. According to Frank Biro, professor of pediatrics, girls who experience early puberty often undergo rapid growth and stop growing sooner, resulting in a shorter ultimate height than expected. Long-term consequences are also significant. Biro highlights that early puberty is linked to increased risks of breast cancer, obesity in adulthood, high blood pressure type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, cholesterol issues and cardiovascular disease. Natasha Chaku, psychologist, emphasizes that early puberty exposes the brain and body to heightened levels of sex hormones compared to peers, potentially affecting social and emotional development. This discrepancy can lead to feelings of being out of sync with peers and increase the likelihood of mental health challenges such as depression, stress, anxiety, and poor body image. Jane Mendel, clinical psychologist, points out that girls experiencing early puberty may face more difficult social and emotional transitions. They may miss out on developing necessary social skills and resources that help navigate these changes effectively. Research indicates that early maturing girls are at higher risk of bullying and may receive unwanted sexual attention before they are emotionally prepared. This premature physical development can lead adults to expect more maturity than is developmentally appropriate, influencing behaviors such as early experimentation with alcohol and sexual activity. Adapting to the changes. Managing early puberty involves timely intervention and supportive care from healthcare providers, according to Frank Biro, a pediatric expert. Girls showing signs of early maturation should be evaluated to ensure it's not due to underlying issues like a brain tumor. Lisa Swartz Topor, a pediatrician, emphasizes that if early puberty progresses rapidly or occurs very early, medical intervention may be necessary. Medications like GnRH agonists can be used to temporarily pause puberty, helping to mitigate potential negative effects on growth. Research shows these interventions can help girls reach their full height potential by the age of 18, even after experiencing early puberty. Regardless of when puberty begins, parents play a crucial role in normalizing the experience for their children. Topor advises treating the child according to their chronological age, not their physical appearance. This approach supports healthy habits and self-esteem development. Jane Mendel, a clinical psychologist, stresses the importance of open communication and reducing stigma around puberty. Parents can positively influence their child's experience by discussing puberty openly and sharing personal experiences. Mendel highlights that embracing puberty as a natural part of growing up can empower girls to navigate these changes with greater confidence and understanding, 
fostering a sense of continuity and self-awareness. Navigating early puberty can be challenging, but with timely support from healthcare professionals and understanding from loved ones, girls can thrive through this phase. Remember, treating children based on their age, not just their appearance, helps them develop a healthy relationship with their changing bodies. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more insightful content on health and well-being. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.